Hello everyone. Um, before we start taking a look at this uh, Ganso F761, uh, I'd just like to let you know that as from today, March 20th, uh, up until the 2nd of April of this year, Gearbest will be celebrating their fourth anniversary. Yes, that's very much it, guys. Yes, yes, there we go. Don't know where that came from. Anyway, this uh, knife here, now again, uh, as I said, uh, Gearbest supplied this for us to take a look at, so thank you very much to Gearbest. Um, I think what we'd better do, guys, is um, take a close look at it. Right, and just to let you know, I am suffering with a, a bit of a migraine today whilst I'm trying to do this for you. Um, so if anything seems a little bit weird, it'll be uh, my brain not working properly, guys. Right, and so here we have the uh, um, business end of things. I, I do like the shape of this blade. You've got this nice uh, flat grind here, swedge on the top, uh, my favourite little uh, Firebird logo here, uh, some very nice blue thumb studs, jimping, which is not too uh, rough. Your thumb does slip on it a little bit, it's quite well rounded off. Uh, what have we got on the other side of the blade then guys let's have a look yeah f761 440c that's the steel it's made from made by ganzo and as i say i do like the uh the design of this blade a lot actually it's very nice indeed i like that you've got this nice sort of like round sweeping bit going on here on both sides of it as you can see i like that uh, and you've got quite a largish what I would say is probably a sharpening choil, but some of you might think isn't. But um, that's what I think it is anyway. So it's, you know, saves you from damaging the uh, back end of the blade when you're sharpening it. It's a very nice blade, actually. Let's move along to the, uh, well, there's your um, axis style lock. Very easy to work with one finger, so I've just found. Blue pivot screws. I like these uh, blue highlights they put on the... Um, knives these days guys I like them a lot and you've got a very nice finish to the uh, G10 hopefully you can probably see the layers there it's been machined just here as well look that's nice more nice blue screws you've got an alternate mounting position for the pocket clip so you can have it um, left or right hand carry but it's only a uh, tip up guys and we have a uh, lanyard hole at the top here as well so we'll have to uh, see if we can get a bit of a paracord through there I wonder what, um, let's see if we can close it up there we go what's the centering like well that's quite good yeah I'm quite pleased with that and we've also got a bit of G10 acting as a spacer in the back here look now what about the uh, let's have a look what about the liners yep skeletonized liners as well reducing a bit of the weight there completely open construction there it's only held together here with a pivot and some screws at the back end of things nice very nice um knife next we'll take a look at some dimensions closed length is 115 millimeters the open length is 202 millimeters by my measure guys um, blade length is 87 millimeters long and we know it's 440 C um, the thickness of the blade is 3.3 millimeters and this dimension here I measured roughly at 31 millimeters across the blade here let's pop it on the scales 123 grams or four and a quarter ounces now, I quite like this design actually guys it's, it's very nice indeed we've got a quite a strong yeah very strong pocket clip there um, where is my paracord here it is, right in. Can we get it through that there hole there? Yes, we can. So you can actually attach yourself a, a nice little um, lanyard of one description or another there, guys. Chuck it over there again. Yes, yeah, a nice, um, very nice G10 scales here. I like those a lot, actually. I like it. As you can see, it's in my favourite green. Um, it is also available in black G10 and a camouflage G10 too. Uh, and you can also get it with a layer of uh, carbon fibre too. That's a nice one. Let's have a look. Oh, that's nice and smooth. That is. It's a bit. Mine's a bit stiff still at the moment, because what we've got in here is 
one nylon washer and one copper or um, bronze washer. You can see in the close-up picture there. But yes, the blade does actually deploy quite nicely. I haven't managed to work all I can do with it. It takes a bit of effort though, but you can... Uh, there we go. It takes a bit of effort at the moment. I think it needs uh, running in as it were, but deploying it with the thumb studs is very nice. Very smooth. What about left-handed? Yep, I don't often do that. <laughs> a left-handed uh, blade deployment. But yeah, you can do it. And it's actually quite, um, quite comfortable to hold too. In the left hand there, swap him over. Yes, and there's nothing digging into my hand at all there, guys. And that is very comfortable. Yeah, both, you know, left and right, it is very comfortable to hold, actually. Hmm, what about, can we, oh, can I, uh, oh, yep, yeah, try not to cut myself. I'm just about um, put the blade away. How do I do it right-handed, then? Well, you can flick it like that. I'll give it a shove. Hmm. Do you know, I've never done this before on a review. There we go. <laughs> right. In. And so you've got some jimping here. You can actually get your thumb into this little curvature at the top here as well, look, if you need to. Uh, we've got a finger choil here, as you can see. And the other fingers can sit on there. And you can see I've got large hands, but I've got a, quite a nice grip of this little fellow. Very nice indeed. It's very comfortable. These, these um, G10 scales have been nicely rounded off too. There's no sharp edges to this little fellow at all and it's just very comfortable to hold. I, mean, I, can, I think I can feel the, uh, you can feel the pocket clip obviously but it's not digging in. There's no sharp edges on it at all. It's just very very nice indeed. I like this. Okay guys, so Gearbest have um, a time limited special link which you can find down in the descriptive text for this review and you stand a chance of winning a OnePlus 5T 4G Fablet. So click on that link you'll find in the descriptive text below. You can sign in either with Facebook or an email address and you could win this phone. So go along guys, as I say it's time limited, there are only a, uh, a number of days left in which you can do it. So get down there now and enter. Anyway, how about we get Bob the Bits a bag in, see what, it, uh, see what it can chop up. Here he is with some paper. See if we can knock the corner off this sheet of paper with it. Yeah, look at that guys, that is really sharp. Cool. Cuts the paper up nicely. What about some um, cardboard? Yeah, blimey. It's like a hot knife through butter. Hmm that over there then and we'll go in for some where's the end good grief the cheapo rope here I know uh, you can make your own end but um, let's just see what they can do with these uh, four or five strands I've got here guys listen to this yep look at that brilliant speaker style cable up next can it chop through that I hope so get the blade in there that was very easy um, this is all I've got left of the uh, 32020. I was going to get some yesterday at work and forgot. Right in. Let's get the uh, blade into that and give it a shove and see what happens this time. Oh, yeah, cut it this time. We had some uh, fun and games with the uh, other Ganzo on Sunday, if you remember. We didn't want to chop through it properly. Right then, let's give Mule the tapeworm a go. Thank you very much to Trader Joe for sending this in. This is quite interesting stuff. Um, usually a good sharp blade will chop through it, but I find that the blunter blades tend to slip off of it. Right in, let's give it a go. Oh, yep, sorted that bit out then. Right, I've got a bit of um, heavy duty package tape here, as you can see. This strapping stuff is quite good. Let's have a look, see so if we can take the corner off of it. Oh yeah, sent it all around the room as well. Right in. Can I, it's only a little bit, can I hold it and chop through it at the same time? It's not very comfortable, it's a bit sharp in places. Crikey, yeah. Give it a go, see what happens. It'll either cut the strapping or cut my hand up one of the two. Oh, did the strapping luckily. Right, let's move on to the a chopping block again. What should we start with? Cheapy rope, I think. See that, because it's got a huge belly on this thing, guys. Roll it through and see what happens. Oh yeah, very nice. 
that just explodes it all over the place. That's brilliant. Right, um, let's try the uh, wire again. Oh yeah, just push it through that with a minimum of effort. Good. Um, speaker style cable, much the same. Um, we haven't taken the edge off of it at all. Uh, I've got a little bit of pipe left here guys. I don't know if I can get any more, but let's have a look. It's that sharp. Oh, it is pinging it a bit. Hmm. Nice sharp blade then. I say the edges uh, not come off of it. Right, let's try this. Um, hopefully you can hear it just chopping through there. Listen to that. Yep, brilliant. So that's a, a very sharp blade with uh, quite comfortable handling as well, guys. So, in my opinion, this is a very nicely designed knife, actually, guys. I like the handle shape. You've got some jimping just here and on the uh, very last bit of the blade. Uh, there's a little bit of jimping just here, too. Huge, great blade on it. Look at that. It's fantastic. Completely open construction, apart from the um, little spacer at the back end of things here. And um, we've got a very nice, smooth axis lock, too. Very nice, I like that. And I say it opens and closes quite uh, nice. It's actually getting better as we go on with it, guys. You know, if I was to sit there whilst watching the TV tonight, flicking it backwards and forwards like this, apart from getting on Mrs. Rathbone's wick, I'm sure we could uh, loosen this up quite nicely, actually. Right in, guys, let's thank Gearbest once again for sending this in. Thank you very much, Gearbest. And what I'll do is, guys, I'll put you uh, some links down below to their fourth anniversary where you can go along and take a look at it uh, and what's on offer from that. And I say it does start from today and goes on till the 2nd of April. So, um, you know, go along and take a look. Um, I think I've been buying stuff from Gearbest for two or three years now, actually. Um, the first knife I bought from them was this one here, this little San Renmu here. What model number is it? Let's have a look. Can I see without my glasses? Probably not. Uh, it's a 70945, is that right? Where's my glasses? Here we go. <clears throat> right, let's have a look. Yeah, it's a um, 7094STX, that's it, not a 5. Right. But yeah, this is a really nice knife, and it's I think it's the first one I ever purchased from Gearbest back in, I don't know, what, two or three years ago. Love the design of this blade. They're, they, uh, you, uh, San Remo, you do another version of this now with a little saw blade in it, would you believe? That? I'll have to get one of those as well. Right, and so let's get back to the Ganzo in question here. I like this. I like this a lot, actually. Um, you've got a nice big finger choil here. It's just nice and comfortable. got some nice rounded edges to the G10. I like the little uh, dimpling um, the manufacturers put into this G10 these days. It's quite nice. What is your opinion of this knife then guys? Have you got one? Do you want one? Are you going to get one? Have I answered any questions for you? Um, if you've got any further questions or comments on this little fellow, please leave them for me in the comments below. Uh, if I'm not too busy, and I can be busy, like for instance today, I've uh, had a day off, would you believe? Um, but I've had to run the wife to the nearby town, come back again, I've done a bit of plumbing, I've changed the oil on my car, doing this review for Gearbest, mentioning their fourth birthday. Um, I've got to uh, rush off again in a little while and pick the wife up and bring her back home again, would you believe? Blimey, it's just, oh, I might as well have stayed at work, really, been easier. Right then, I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. If you did, um, please feel free to subscribe to my channel because that will help me as well. Uh, you can click a like if you wish, if you enjoyed it, and you can share it with your friends as well. And then you can follow me on Instagram, uh, I put up lots of pictures there, what I'm doing during the day sometimes. Uh, there's also my Google Plus as well. You can check me out on Google Plus. Um, I've got a couple of guys helping me out on Patreon too. So thank you very much guys for that. It all comes in handy to uh, keep the channel running. Right then guys, um, as I say, I hope you enjoyed the review. Thanks for coming over and watching uh, again. I know it uh, takes time out of your day to uh, sit there watching somebody fiddling around with a knife. 
but uh, I must admit I quite enjoy it I really do enjoy bringing these reviews to you guys um, I've got a load more stuff coming in from Gearbest and other places in the very near future um, please uh, stay tuned and see what's going on um, I do apologize about my migraine guys I hope it hasn't uh, ruined the review for you <laughs> but um, yeah all right and guys I'll uh, catch you back here at Rathbone Manor in the very near future then. Laters!